Okay, and in this video, we're continuing our discussion of ARC Section 90A as it relates to the review of financial statements. And up until this point, we have designed and performed analytical procedures and inquiries of management. And so now we have some additional inquiries of the members of management that we need to ask uh, specifically to those who are responsible for financial and accounting matters. We have a pretty long list here at ARC Section 90A.22 through 23. And so it says that we should inquire. Uh, members of management who have responsibility for financial and accounting matters concerning the fi financial statements about all of these items. And that would be whether the financial statements have pre been prepared and fairly presented in accordance with the financial reporting framework, whether there are any unusual or complex situations in the financial statements, whether there are any significant transactions occurring during the period, and uh, more specifically ones that occur close to year end. And if we had some uncorrected misstatements in the prior period's review, uh, we'll need to ask whether they um, adjusted those out in the current period or, or what's the status of those. We might also discuss some other matters that we that were uh, arisen during the other review procedures that we've performed, whether there have been any subsequent events that might have a material effect on the financial statements, whether they have any knowledge of fraud or suspected fraud um, that occurred involving management, employees, or other, whether management is aware of allegations of fraud, whether management has uh, disclosed to us all known instances of non-compliance or suspected non-compliance uh, with different laws and regulations that affect them, whether there have been any significant journal entries or other adjustments, whether there have been any communications from regulatory agencies, whether there are any related parties or new related party transactions, whether there has been any litigation or claims or assessments that were existing as of the balance sheet date or during the period um, after the balance sheet date to today, whether management believes that the assumptions that it used in, in forming the estimates are reasonable, um, what are the actions taken at meetings of stockholders or boards of directors that might have an effect on the financial statements, and finally, any other matters that we consider necessary. And so, as we noted back in the, the video on the analytical procedures, um, in a financial statement review, we're not required to corroborate management's responses on anything. We, uh, we're able to take their responses at face value. However, we should um, look at our, their responses to determine if they seem reasonable or consistent in light of the results of our other review procedures and our knowledge of the business. So we have some explanatory material here that will help us understand uh, these discussions that we're supposed to have with management, and that's at A43 through A46 right here. So let's go down to that explanatory material. Okay, so now we're down in the explanatory material as it relates to our inquiries of members of management um, at A43 through A46. And so in this first one, it says that although this requirement is that we discuss all of those inquiries with management who has a responsible for financial and accounting matters, we might also determine to hold inquiries with others within the entity or those charged with governance uh, if we feel that that's appropriate. And uh, as we remember from the requirements, we're supposed to ask about unusual or complex transactions that happen during the year. And uh, fortunately for us, uh, um, this ARC section 90A provides an appendix B, which gives us some examples of unusual or complex situations that we might consider um, when we're performing our procedures and when we're inquiring with management about them. So we can, we'll go down to appendix B at the end of this video. And next, concerning our requirement to discuss management's knowledge with, about fraud or suspected fraud, it um, explains to us here that management could obtain that knowledge of fraud or suspected fraud in a variety of different ways, and that could include communications from employees, former employees, or others. So we need to make sure to ask management if they've um, received any of those communications from people within the entity. And also, as it relates to our requirement to discuss any significant decisions made by boards of directors or uh, the stockholders' meetings, we could possibly obtain the minutes from those meetings from management, and that could possibly cover um, that requirement of us. And so if we read those minutes and uh, there's something we don't understand or, or um, something we need some more information about, we might could ask management about it. But uh, reading the, the board of directors minutes might be a good way for us to comply with the requirement to obtain an understanding of any significant decisions that were made by the board or stockholders. Okay, so that, that gave us some good information on how to comply with the requirements of what we need to inquire with members of management about. Uh, so let's go down to Appendix B to see some examples of in unusual or complex situations that we might consider when we're inquiring management, uh, but also when we're performing other review procedures. All right, so now we're in Appendix B where we have a list of examples of unusual or complex situations um, that might behoove us to um, discuss further with management or provide, perform additional procedures. So we have a pretty long list here of some examples, um, maybe a business combination, new or complex revenue recognition methods, impairments of assets, uh, the disposal of business uh, or business segment, and several other items, changes in major contracts with customers, new accounting principles, um, changes in related parties, uh, you know, unique terms for debt or capital stock. So um, these are definitely some unusual situations that are out, typically outside the normal course of uh, a business. And so you can pause this video if you want to, to get this list down or to read them further. But um, in summary, these are, these are all the requirements to um, discuss with management um, as it relates to the review of their financial statements.